I love you or you'll always be my dearest friend. I don't really know what he mean by love. What I mean, I might use a glove or I might not. What it means, I might use a glove or I might not. Doki Doki Club, I'm finna join and get some love. Natsuki, you got the freak booty. Y'all wanna sniff it? It smells like gooey. Whoa! What did I just say? What? <laughs> Good job. Welcome back. Hey. Now I know things look differently. My camcorder is not working properly, so I'm using my webcam. You know, the space where I usually stream and shake my ass for donations. Pause. I'm using this webcam to record my face cam for this video. Now, I may have to record a couple videos like this just to see if it works, but I have been told that we are getting into the good part of Doki and Donkey Literature Club. And here we are, right back in it. It's already Sunday. Can't wait to see Yuri's. Oh, I've been getting, I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous. But it doesn't help much. Y'all told me to keep my, my game files open. Let me see what that even means, bruh. I gave up. So, I know y'all told me to look for the game files while I'm playing this, but I don't see no game files, bruh. So, I'm gonna just keep doing it. If I blow, we'll just look at it after. I keep telling myself there's no such reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. I hope she'll open up. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. Oh, Sayori, what'd you run off for like that? It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But, I, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and w what Monica said, it's like, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? What? All right, I decided to, ooh, I, ooh, the plot thickens, the plot thickens. I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over. Much like we've done in the past. Okay, he said, look, this is my coup. This is my girl. I'm gonna just come over when I want and say hello. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Let's see what else she entered today. The house is quiet. Let me get my ASMR voice on. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in a room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Berlisi! I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as always as messy. Wait, what? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Suri had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. M Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Mm, that, that's, that's true. But um, what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Or are you just going to sit here in your room with your fat-ass cow and angry bird? Of course! But, but, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Oh, so it's just me and, and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Ooh, that tension though. I feel the tension. Why did she cut off? What is this right here? 
That must be your ex-boyfriend birthday or something right there. Y'all know, y'all girls know you be doing shit like that. Have a whole wall set up, and the moment he texts another girl, that, that wall go to flames. Relax. Don't relax. But burn it up. He, he a f he, he, you know, I'm not saying he a dog, but woof woof, you know what I mean? Suri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I'm like, look, I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, you know, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. That's my blood. I know you too well. So, um, Suri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Berlizzi. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have to be worried about me at all. You wouldn't have even come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself, you crazy? I, I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Berlizzi. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. S seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Berlizzi? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. That's the happiest people that usually be dealing with stuff, you don't even know it. It's the happiest people who are never asked, how are you? They're the ones who make people smile and happy. But what about us? What about us? What about Sayori? Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put energy and caring to waste by having to spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. Ooh. Mmm. Sayori, Sayori character, I identify with you. I'm there. I feel you in here. I feel you in here. Look, stunt, look, quiet, because cause Berlizzi know exactly how she feels. For the first time, he understands. I'm in shock. So like somebody walking up in my room. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Uh, why is it that you never told me about this? It, it, it almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done anything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. It's like, I mean, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. So I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You, you don't understand at all, Berlizzi. Why, why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. 
helping everyone by helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discover something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, you're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Berlixi. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. Just weak and selfish, that's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Come here, girl. Oh, 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 Berlizzi. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it, makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Belize! Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides like a limp noodle. Fresh out of a steaming bowl of water. I don't know, bro. She starts sobbing next to my ear. <laughs> this shit smells like, like pure spit, bro. I need to like douse you in alcohol, rubbing alcohol. 98%. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this, Berlizzi. I... Oh. Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. <laughs> that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have it to let me be selfish too. Ooh, but these are coming with the bars. These are coming with the love bars. These is, these is hashtag love bars right here. Make sure that you give, if you don't give the homies bars bars, you gotta give the girls Love bars. That's why I was twerking the way that I did. That's love bars for the ladies. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. Ooh, demand it. Real man. I'll get mad if you don't. Whoa, relax. I... Don't know! I don't know! I don't know! Gently, Sayori finally, finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know anything! It's all really scary! I don't understand any of my feelings, Berlizzi! The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain! But, but, your hugs are so warm! And that's, that's really scary too! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. Look, the festival is tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Ooh, ooh, smooth operator. Smooth. Operator, um, uh, um, uh, uh, 
it's what I want. I promise. I, I, I think that would be nice then, yes. Yeah. Sorry, wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, no, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it, it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Suri shakes her head. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. I look forward to it. That's me when I walk out the door after all that. You did it. You did it. You went in there and you gave her pure love bars. We shouldn't call them love bars. That's a little, that's a little too intimate. We got to call them heart bars. You got hard bars. I don't know if you want to give niggas hard bars either. You got, uh... You gotta give them those mean, you got mean bars and then, and then spleen, no, you got, you got vicious, vicious bars and, and kisses bar, no, you got, you got, I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, misfit kisses, pause. On the May home, that sounds like some Jaden Smith, I don't know, pause Jaden, I don't know if you're gonna watch this one day, but look, I'm a big fan, I'm not trying to give you a kiss or any of your other misfit native collective <laughs> thank you on the way home i find myself still feeling uneasy but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when yuri is about to come over too i think sayori is right i shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow i should just focus on what's ahead of me as i approach my house i see something that makes me feel a moment of panic yuri ha <sighs> ha Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry if I wasn't home yet. Why you wear this thick ass turtleneck to my crib, bro? Say that shit for school, bro. Were you waiting for me up for a long time? N no, I, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me, you know. If I had known, I, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, come on, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. Okay. I take Yuri to my room, okay? I take Yuri to my room. I take Yuri to my room. What's up with you? The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. You got the TV around the bookcase. You know your neck hurt, and you don't get to see anything back here, but she has to bend over this way to watch TV, so you cuddle up behind her, put, put a little meat in the buns action, get that warmed up cooking, and then she's warm, you're warm, make it happen. It's so, it's uh, so clean. <laughs> well, I cleaned it before you came over, so you got me. That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no, I mean, I'll, I'll be really embarrassed in my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would have been even more embarrassing. You know, you know what I got in here, bro? You would have seen my... Da -da -da. You would have seen my da-da-da -da -da on the floor. I don't know what da-da-da -da -da can mean. Anything you wanted to mean. I'm not finna get my video flagged and make no money off this. <laughs> wait, wait, don't don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. She was finna find my condoms. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just pacing out. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. Damn, why you? Stay out of there, damn. Excuse me. 
She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? Can you speak English? You know, uh, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, um, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to prove it to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Yeah, I mean, look at you. Look at your turtleneck. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. Not at all. Look, it's something that I like about you, actually. I is that so? That makes me feel very relieved, uh, and I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. Like, it's my room. It smells like ass in here, so make yourself comfortable. Fart if you need it. Relieve that pressure. Always out, then in, I always say. No Shrek. Yeah, you can relax a little. Relax. I, I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry, poetry event. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah? Um, like what? What you talking? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, and so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. <laughs> Uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a provide. It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. Pause. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapors begins to sprout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a good way to describe it, sure. You got them buzz bazoongas, though. I'm trying to get in that. When does this get scary? I'm trying to pee my pants. I want to be scared. But y'all are making me read about the air Aromatherapy and oils galore I need to see what's up under Yuri's dress I don't think she got a breast or a chest It's real late It's real late, bro This video might be a little raggedy I'm gonna be honest with you But I'm finna power through it I'm finna power through I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think it would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this. So I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well... Did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using that paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for, Yuri? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. Yuri's actually pretty good at event planning, bro. When I was in college, majority of my time in college was not about books or tests or essays. It was about event planning. I told myself I was going to have an enriched college experience because, you know, my family, I'm the first in my family to graduate from school. Shout out to me, you know, shout out to my family. But, you know, how am I going to get my kid to go to school? That's the thing, bro. One day school might not even be important. It might not be a thing. 
I was thinking about this the other day. I might be going off on a tangent, but imagine like as YouTube and like social media grow, like people's businesses are either gonna have to adapt or get left behind. And like think about it, like most of the stores we will be shopping at are online. Like online stores, you go to your website, get your favorite clothing, get your YouTuber merch, easygang.com. I got I can hold up, let me let me do a little brand merch advertisement. Get your Easy Gang Volume One Shades, EasyGang.com. They look a little crazy on my on my on my face because I already got glasses on. But y'all, shameless plug, shameless plug. <laughs> it says Easy Gang Volume One. Anyways, that's what I'm saying. Like, I like even I'm a business, bruh. Because I don't want to get left behind with the times. But like, let's say. Let's say like it gets to the point where schools have to have social media, like a good social media following for you to even go play, go play basketball, basketball for them or football for them. Like they have to prove themselves to you first. That's what like the Internet is forcing people to do is like y'all decide for yourselves whether or not you want to support them or you want to go to the school or support their business. It's all on you. So Yuri's actually my point in all this is Yuri has a good business mind when she's like, I, if people are even walking by the classroom, I'm finna put shimmers in front of the door. Bring their asses inside. Now we got new members. Good thinking, Yuri. Like if I was a like if I was a star athlete, I'd be like, bro, you gotta show me your playbook. What plays are we finna run this season before I go go with this school over here? That's my point, bro. The world is changing, bro. It's changing in front of our eyes. And y'all grew up in this. That's crazy to me. Alright, let me stop rambling. It may it may track some. So, yeah, oh, yep. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Belize. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired <gasps> length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Uh, the knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an in intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I already think it's weird. Tell me about it. To, me, to each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsman craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. N no, I'm not laughing at you. Uh, it's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's... Well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I, I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Right? You got it from that little blue motherfucker from God of War, huh? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ah! Berlisi! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be this sharp. Would you walk? How, how are you carrying this in your pocket? You're not getting poked in the spleen with it. Through your jean pocket, I barely touched it at all. It, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. If she does what I think a freak like her would do. 
It might turn me on. Ah! She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, ah! Without warning. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Ah! Yeah, that, that turns me on a little bit. I know it's nasty, I know it's gross, but Yuri, honestly, if I was really breezy in this situation and a, and a girl like Yuri did that to my finger, I'm smashing and I'm not pulling out. You wanna play with my blood? Play with my seeds. <laughs> ah. It's so late right now. I apologize. The things that I'm saying probably need to get sens sensitized. I don't really know if that's a word, but I'm gonna try. Yuri drinking my blood. This bitch finna drink something else. Let me chill. I feel her tongue curl around my finger, okay. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. F*** off me, bitch. Uh, oh, oh, oh. P -p -p please, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri? That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yeah, yeah I think you're overreacting a little. Yeah, actually... Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. <gasps> Belisi! D did you really just do that? N no, we're, we're even. Yuri just licks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Belize. Yuri giggled shyly, huh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Oh look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What did you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Uh, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six couple, six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a, a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups up too much, it would be too diluted. I'm finna go get cups. Taking your advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes. I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Oh, uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. 
Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, oh, neat. But what are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so, Yuri. After rolling out the banner, banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Why do I feel like they like set me up to do like some sacrificial... Uh, this feel like, like sacrificial right now. It feel very... Sacrificial. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when we can spend time with, with, one an- with one other person, what? Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. I'm the same way. Just having a friend next to me feels thi- <laughs> Just having a friend next to me makes me feel things- <laughs> I think that's all that it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games. Where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way, girl. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Oh, sorry, Yuri. Sorry. Sorry. The f***? How's that happen in your own room? Sorry. Yuri goes back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Oh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. <laughs> Yo, chill, bro, with this picture, bro. Damn, chill with this picture. What face is that? Don't ever look at me like this when I'm trying to clean paint off you. Actually, this is the perfect cleaning paint. Hello. That's a reference for something else. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towels. Ah. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. You wouldn't expect that either. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Look at, look at her, look at her holding my wrist. Look at her face, Yuri. Oh, I'll tear your shit up. Wait, huh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah, uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It is an intense expression that I recognize from when I beat my meat and I watch them videos and then they finna bust. That's what it looks like. Don't play yourself. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. This video finna get demonetized, bro. It is way too late in the day for me to be trying to do this. I'm horny. (laughs) She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers, wrapped in my, around my wrist, sent a tingling sensation through my arm, and suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh. <laughs> Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. 
I remained silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired while trying to calm my meat down from being full staff. I hesitantly retrieved my own brush and continued following Yuri's example. I should do it. I finished filling the night sky with white dots that looked like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with all with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you gonna add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew! <laughs> you said it like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, uh, so you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finish my nigga. He's trying to do some freaky things to her cool. He wants to try to make them cool lips cry. I just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me chill, bro. Well, Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible for me to. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping. <laughs> Thumbs up the video for that for that last love bar, bruh. I mean heart bar. That's a heart bar, bruh. <laughs> it's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed, or anything. Gathering all our things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why, because we both was ready to get it on and you blew the moment. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Eerie Fidgets. I guess I I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Smooth. Smooth. Whenever you want. You can come over. Or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. And anyway, look, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Berlizzi. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well... How am I supposed to respond to that? Let me, let me decide. Let me, give me an option to choose. But I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S -s Sayori? Uh? Uh, uh, hi, Berlisi? Sayori! Just no, just, just now, we, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Berlisi. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so so that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Y yeah, so I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Yuri, you just blew the whole spot just now acting like that. Did y'all see how fast she just fucking jumped from in front of us? Home? Where you going that fast? Dinner can wait. Now she knows I, just, I was just up there getting a little toppy top. <laughs> Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. 
So I had to come here and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Sorry, is fucking heartbroken. Wow. This is a, this is a stupid shit though. Is that Sayori put me through a shit test? She was trying to see just how far I take it with these other women. Why wouldn't you just tell me how you felt from the beginning? And that way, I can tell, judge for myself who I want to choose. But you want to play these games with me? These little kitty cat meow meow ass games. If you knew you wanted me, then don't put me on your friends. Cause I'm not saying I'm a dog, but. <laughs> Sayori is breaking her own heart. You have me all to yourself. We walk to school every single day. Just tell me how you feel, girl. That's all it take. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Berlizzi? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Berlizzi. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Whoa, Monica. Monica was right about what? Sayori, what, a, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away. But... I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Berlizzi. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and I started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Facts. <laughs> Big facts. I just said that. Big facts. Berlizzi, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my, my hand, well, I gotta slide it. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Oh, that's sweet, that's sweet. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm gonna give you. They want me to... Not finna catch me slacking. Save it. I love you or you'll always be my dearest friend. I don't really know what he mean by love. What I mean, I might use a glove or I might not. What it means, I might use a glove or I might not. <laughs> I might use a glove or I might not. Sayori, I might use a glove or I might not. All right, I love you or you're always my dearest friends. I'll be honest. I clearly love her, bruh. The way that I've been talking to her, the way that I'm always there for her, trying to make sure that she's there in a, in a good mental space, the way that I always promise her forever by her side, he's in love, bruh. I love you. Huh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. Let me look at her. 
and I'm still finna pipe Yuri. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you were the truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we can continue like this every day with you by my side. Yuri walks around with big ass blades in her purse. What the f do you have that for? Um, uh, uh, uh. Enemies with you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. Belize. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Wow. Belize, is this really okay? Yeah, babe. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a romantic too, bruh. I gotta be honest with you. I love love. And this is just so romantic. Oh my gosh. I love you, Berlizzi. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why would the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Berlizzi. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some things, but it might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sorori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow. Our first date. Huh. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it's always been. Even if we really are. A couple. I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Berlizzi. Sarah gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sarah means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. <laughs> she knows I didn't mean it. Maybe she knows I didn't mean it. I don't know. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that. But in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Then why did you tell her that she loved her? That's not, hey, hey, look, look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not my job to sit there and try and understand her feelings if she doesn't understand them her own damn self. That's only gonna drive me crazy and then eventually when she figures it out, We've probably gotten through so many arguments and fights over it because she doesn't know how to put it into words. So I'm probably going to get blamed for her feeling depressed and sad when in reality she's just depressed and sad with her own damn self. Huh? This shit really stinks, bro. I got to stop getting close to this shit. Fool, you need a Tic Tac, Blue. Where did your hair go? You used to have hair a few months ago. Funk booty ass scalp you got Even though I can't comf comfort her I keep wondering if I should be doing something more Or something different I know these thoughts will continue to plague me Until things are back to the way they are Is that what Sarori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know But I know that I'll give it everything I got Sarori is the most important person to me And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her 
It's the day of the festival, and we are going to save in this third slot, just in case we want to go back and change this answer. I think this was a critical answer to the ending of the game, which I hope is this next episode. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Uh, another Doki Doki episode. I got some more videos coming out this week. Happy Monday for y'all if this video does get there on Monday. If not, happy Tuesday. Um, this week, I got Doki Doki. I got Dangan. I got some Sims action. I'm going to start Uncharted. And I pro I'd like to finish Doki, so there you have it. Um, I'm going to start doing a lot more streams on Twitch, uh, moving my live streams to Twitch. Just want to say that one more time. <laughs> I'll probably live stream again on here for about two more weeks just to get those live viewers to transfer over to Twitch. But after, the, after that two-week mark, definitely starting in August, I will do only live streaming on Twitch. YouTube is changing, bruh. And I'm not saying that it's on its way out. YouTube's gonna be here forever. But I just think I need to start diversifying my investment, the investments I'm putting in myself. So if I'm putting all my eggs in YouTube, that's not really diversifying anything. It's, it's not even late, but I'm pretty tired. I hope that this video wasn't too lame. Not lame, that's a bad choice of words. I this video wasn't too, uh, too laid back that's what i'm looking for but yeah more videos this week love each and every one of y'all if you are new please subscribe for more videos if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and as always i love each and every one of you yeah you and i'll see you in the next video peace out y'all